guys welcome back if you're new here my name is smitha welcome to my channel so i did a one brand tutorial of wet and wild a couple of weeks ago and so many of you loved it first of all thank you so much for that and second so many of you sent me messages saying that you had the rose in the air palette and you wanted me to create a look using it so here it is you guys i created this berry half cut crease and just for that extra pizzazz i added some glitter at the crease it was so easy to add the glitter again a 99 cent glitter from wet and wild and the palette itself was four dollars thirty cents and it's so darn pigmented i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe and without further ado let's get started let's get done with the brows first so we can keep that aside and focus completely on the eye makeup i'm going to be using the wet n wild ultimate brow retractable brow pencil this is in the shade ash brown and i'm going to use this only to fill in the sparse areas As you can see, it adds a little bit more shape and definition. My eyebrows are already thick, so I didn't want to fill in too much. To clean up the borders as well as as a primer on my lids, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and this is in the shade Light Medium Beige. I don't like to use the applicator directly because it comes out really thick. So for fine detailing, I like to use this eyeliner brush from e.l.f. I'm going to next set this concealer with the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Powder. You can use any loose powder that you have. That way it prevents the concealer from settling in those fine lines and creasing. I'm also going to be using some sticky tape in the corners to get those sharp straight edges. And I'm leaving a little bit of gap in the lower lash line. So there's continuity when we use the eyeshadows from the lower lash line all the way to the top lash line. First, I'm going to be using this dark brown shade with a small blending brush. I'm going to use this to define the outer corner. Next, I'm taking this berry shade with a small fluffy brush, which I got in a Rimmel palette. And I'm going to be using this right in the center of the lid at the crease. And I'm going to be blending it in with the brown shade that I used in the outer corner. And then I'm taking this orange brown shade with the same brush which I quickly cleaned up with a dry towel and I'm going to be using it in the inner third. And then I'm taking this transition shade with the same brush and I'm going to use this to soften up the edges of everything that I used at the crease. The easiest way to cut your crease is to first mark exactly where you want to cut the crease and for that I'm using this small elf concealer brush. I'm taking a little bit of concealer and I'm going to mark all the way from the inner corner up to where I want to cut the crease. And now I'm going to clean up everything that's under this concealer that I just marked using micellar cleansing water and a Q-tip. I'm going to erase all the concealer as well as any fallouts just so I can get a crisp clean cut crease. Thank you. 
Now it's time to cut the crease and for that I'm using a flat shader brush. With more concealer, I'm going to start dragging the brush downwards from the point where I want to cut the crease and then I'm going to join all the points to get a sharp cut crease. I'm also going to paint my lids with the concealer and I'm going to diffuse the edges just so blending becomes easier later on. I'm going to use this cream shade to set the concealer just so it doesn't crease. And to blend this cream shade with the brown in the outer corner, I'm going to be using this berry shade with a small fluffy brush. And the easiest way to get a magical blend is to drag a darker shade into a lighter shade like the way I'm showing you here. I'm going to quickly clean up under my eyes, use some foundation and I'll be right back. Just like I did in my crease, I'm going to first take this dark brown shade with a small definer brush. I'm going to use it in the outer third of my lower lash line. I'm going to use the berry shade in the center of my lower lash line. and the orange shade in the inner third. I'm going to be using this light ivory shimmer with a small definer brush to highlight my brow bones as well as inner corners. The next step is completely optional. I just felt like adding some glitter at the crease because I found a glitter for 99 cents. You can't beat that. But before that, I need the glitter to stick onto something. So I'm going to be using the NYX Multitasker with an angled brush. I'm going to apply it at the crease. Over that, I'm going to be using this pressed glitter from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Brass. I'm taking it with the same angled brush and I'm going to use it right on top of the NYX Multitasker that I used at the crease. In my waterline, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Eye Pencil in black. And to prepare my lashes for the falsies, I'm curling it and applying a coat of mascara. The one that I'm using is the Lashomatic Mascara, again from Wet n Wild. For lashes, I'm using one of my favorites. These are black label lashes in brazen. They're cruelty free lashes and look amazing. And you guys always ask me which glue I use. So here it is. I use the star glue. I sometimes also use duo, but this one's my favorite. And I'm going to finish up with a coat of mascara in my lower lashes. 
I paired it with this beautiful lipstick. This is the Wet n Wild Cat Suit Matte Lipstick in Berry Recognize. And here is the final look. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you're new here, I post videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. For your convenience, I'm listing all the products that I used in the description box right below this video. You'll also find links to my social media accounts, Instagram as well as Facebook. So make sure you're following me there for more looks, more inside scoop and more chatting and whatnot. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new tutorial. Bye guys. Bye.